oil density based on the SCATS interventional tension and then gas oil ratio. Okay. All right. So from here, we will click calculate. The calculation is complete. Okay, so by clicking the calculation, okay, it will simulate the flash through the separator stage. We do the experiment one, the first stage, okay? So it's the flash operation with the separator. The parameter displayed can be altered by clicking on layout. So you can select which parameters you want to show, okay? And then selecting or deselecting the desired parameters. Okay, so let's check. By the way, again, you can open the, the help and then read the message here. Okay. So, okay, I can, I, I will just talk here. Okay. So the calculated liquid density at standard, standard conditions using the EOS, let we can check here. Okay, at zero psig. So the the oil density is eight hundred ninety point three, and it is actually compares quite poorly with the reported liquid density. If you go back to the help. Okay, and then check the separator experiment. Okay, we can check this. Wait a minute. The density, right? The density, not here. Or if you can, wait a minute. We need to, Check this density. We want to compare the calculated density with the density based on the lab. Okay, not here. Differential. Not this one. Separator experiment. Okay, by the way, I I need to rely on this. This this is the thing that I mean. Okay, the calculated liquid density at standard condition using the equation of state in number two here. Okay, of which is this one, 890.3 compared poorly with the reported liquid density, which is 814.5. Okay, the same can be said of the calculated first stage of GOR 0.3 here, which is 761 compared to the reported GOR, which is 661. If you go back to the separator experiment, this one, the GOR is 661. Okay, so it, it doesn't match. So go back to here. Okay, as such, further tuning of the EOS is required to ensure that the realistic liquid phase densities are calculated. Okay, we got that. And here, the standing cuts method for calculating liquid density is known to provide accurate results near standard condition, which is this one, S cuts. Okay, standing and cuts. So provide accurate results near standard conditions which is further underlined above, okay? The oil density based on standing cuts is 828.8, which is closer to the reported liquid density compared to the equation of state result. Okay, so yeah, the calculated density is 828 kilogram per meter cube is significantly closer to that reported in the lab report than the US prediction. Going forward, 
we should aim for the US to predict liquid densities similar to the standing cuts to ensure that the predicted density from the US at S is realistic or are realistic. Okay, so we want to make the result from EOS, the Peng Robinson, as close to the standing cuts result as possible. This process has been automated in PVTP by the AutoMatch, which was specifically developed by the petroleum experts. Brilliant. Okay. Okay, so from here, I don't think we need to read this message. So I'm interested with the auto match. Let's open the drop down menu. You can see auto match liquid density. Okay, so let's read it. 